these coronavirus relief money. And new unemployment claims leveled off somewhat in Alabama after a record 470,000 people applied for job loss benefits during the coronavirus outbreak. Meals on Wheels in Tupelo is continuing to serve those in need of hot meals in the community. The coronavirus pandemic has forced them to take extra precautions when it comes to delivering them. WTVA's Evan Hensley joins us live with how the organization is keeping the wheels turning. Delivery drivers came out here to the St. James Catholic Church located in Tupelo to pick up their meals that they were delivering today. They, because of the coronavirus, they've had to make a bunch of different changes to how they actually do these deliveries. We're leaving them on the doorknob or in a cooler, mm -hmm. and then they're leaving to go to the next one. They can't go into the homes right now because of the population we serve, our elderly. Mm -hmm. Ashley McDaniel, who is one of the coordinators of Meals on Wheels, says that the coronavirus has led to many changes of the daily routine, as well as limiting the normal delivery drivers. Well, most of our volunteers are 62 and older that volunteer for us, so a lot of them are hunkering down and not coming out. Um, so the volunteers are calling in, and I'm having to find the subs. One of those subs is WTVA's Daniela Oropesa. And so they really depend on this meal for lunch, dinner, if they save it. They are really wanting us to wear a mask. I wore gloves every time I gave someone a meal. I also wiped it down. Orpeza says those tweaks to the delivery process is all about looking out for those who they are serving. We reported on it several times that the elderly are more at risk, that there could be underlying health issues. So it's very important that we do take these extra precautions. I'm always looking for subs. Today our routes ran smoothly, but that doesn't mean that I won't get a text saying, hey, I can't run the route tomorrow. And if you are interested in being a substitute driver for Meals on Wheels, you can reach out to them on their Facebook page. Reporting live in Tupelo, I'm Evan Hensley, WTVA 9 News. The Magnolia State now has four.